There is a story in every sip of beer. Mm -hmm. Chicago Museum is one of the first independent nonprofit museums dedicated to beer. Love it. They're hosting the fifth annual Beer Culture Summit this week, where you can learn the global history of beer. Joining us now with more is Liz Garibay, founder and executive director of Chicago Museum. Welcome, Liz. Thank you for having me, Thanks ladies. For coming. Yes. Okay, so just in case somebody didn't know that we had the very first nonprofit museum about beer, yes. tell us what the entire situation's about. So the Chicago Museum is really the world's first nonprofit dedicated to sharing stories about how beer has shaped humanity, mm. past and present, of course. So interestingly, there's nothing else in the world that exists like it. We don't have a brick and mortar yet, but we've been around since 2014, officially in the eyes of the government since 2016. And we've been doing a lot of events and exhibitions with partners around the country, around the world. And one of the big events is this Wednesday, correct? And it's the Beer Culture Summit. Yeah, the Beer Culture Summit is three full days and four nights of events from Wednesday until Saturday, again, celebrating our mission. We truly believe that beer is more than just a beverage. It is a powerful cultural force with the ability to bring people together and the power to make change. And how did this come about? I mean, I think you're kind of a visionary here. Well, I mean, it starts that it doesn't hurt that I, I like to drink beer. Right? <laughs> um, it's always helpful. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the interesting thing is uh, throughout my career and my studies in the museum field um, and in academia, I, I noticed that um, beer is a powerful connector, mm -hmm. right? It's accessible, uh, regardless of who you are, who your parents are, where you come from, your background. It's usually been in our sphere, right? And no matter where you go in the world, no matter where in time you're looking at, right, um, it's there. And so people have been able to have access to it and connect with it. And so that means that we can connect as humans too. So it's a very, very unique and powerful uh, source. And at the Beer Summit, you guys will be obviously probably doing some tastings. Yeah. But um, in addition to that, people are learning the history about all of this and you're raising money. Yeah. So we are a nonprofit, right? Yeah. And uh, one of the things about working in museums is that, you know, there's always a black tie gala. Right? That's the big thing every yeah. year. That's how you raise the money. Right. right. And so I, that's not what beer is. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that's not who I am. That's not yeah. who our institution is. And so for us, the educational, accessible component mm -hmm. um, was really important. So instead of doing one night of just having a party, we do four nights and three days of education, community gathering. Uh, well, I love what you've done, Liz, because I mean, Chicago is has world-renowned museums, so it only makes sense that we would also have a beer museum, but you yeah. made it possible for people to participate even if they're not here in Chicago, right? Right, um, so, you know, uh, lager-colored lining of the pandemic uh -huh. uh, was the that. The lager-colored lining. Love it. <laughs> I, I, I'm here, I'm here all day. Um, <laughs> is that, you know, we had to switch to virtual, so yeah. the great part about that for us is that now we have participants and mm -hmm. presenters from around the world. So those three full days, six sessions a day via Zoom, um, we really do get people from all over the globe. And then, um, you know, what ends up happening is, great, it's cool to watch from your couch, relax, but then you're like, hey, we're talking about beer, we're talking about community, so let's get together. So then we have four nights of in-person events as well. Um, something special for us to, to come together, and then something we like to do for our hometown. That is awesome. Of everything you've learned, Liz, about beer, what do you think is the most interesting fact or maybe the most in misunderstood thing? Oh, gosh, there's so <laughs> many. Um, but in Chicago, one of my favorite facts is that, you know, in 1837, mm -hmm. that's our founding year, um, the vote to make Chicago a city happened in a bar. Wow. So, you know, this whole situation of drinking and, and hanging out with one another is really ingrained in our DNA. And that's Love what that. we like to yeah. do here, Liz. And this one is a, this <laughs> is a Chicago <laughs> beer too, right? Yeah, yeah. so that's Sipes Extra Pale. Yeah. It's a Pilsner. Okay. Um, and the awesome thing about Sipes is Conrad Sipe Brewing Company was oh, founded in you. 1854. Beautiful. And during the late 19th century, it was one of the largest breweries mm -hmm. in the country. Oh. And uh, my, my friend Lauren Mack um, is the great, great, great granddaughter of Conrad <laughs> Sipe. Mm -hmm. And she uh, found me and came to me and decided to say, hey, I kind of want to bring this brewery back because it closed in 1933. Yeah. And so now this is a modern interpretation of what her uh, great, great, great grandfather did and contract brewed by Metropolitan Brewing. So um, oh. awesome Chicago connections here for sure. Yeah. Oh, Kudos right. to you, Liz, because I mean, you don't just like drinking beer. You're somebody that's been working in museums since you were 15 years yeah. old. Yeah. So yeah. there's a lot of education I, behind this. I can't, I can't <laughs> shake the museum world. I love it. Well, thank you so much. The Beer Culture Summit starts this Wednesday, October 18th. And as Liz mentioned, it goes through Saturday.
Saturday, October 21st. You can attend in person at their various locations uh, and also yes. virtually. Mm -hmm. Where's the one? Uh, it's at Atrevita, Atrevita Beer Company and Goose Island Barrel Warehouse. Right, Liz? Uh, opening night is um, at the Chicago History Museum, okay. and it will feature uh, Rich and Jess Fierro, who were with Atrevita Beer Company and part of that Club Q shooting. Perfect. Last Love year. it. Great. And just head over to chicagobrewseum.org and follow them on their socials. Thanks so much, Liz.